Okay, Jamer Candelario, he was ready to roll two, top of the second, scoreless affair, Intel, uh, that went down well struck. Say ya, he hustles home from third, Cubs, they're out in front one zip. Yeah, right away, that's so important to send the message immediately and land the first punch. That's right, keep swinging, that's exactly what they would do because uh, we fast forward to the third, Nico and Dansby uh, causing some chaos out there and the double steal is in motion, Happer, he's safe and oh, bad tag right there, plain and simple. You gotta put it down, but right there, advantage Cubs. Mm -hmm. Nico is all about the swipes, and then uh, Cody Bellinger uh, doing Cody Bellinger kind of things, just to knock up the middle. And that plates Nico and Dansby and the Cubs off and running. It's three to zip. They hopefully would not look back, but this Tigers team, uh, they are good, and so is Nick Madrigal. Nicky, top of the fourth, a man on second, and putting that one on some outfield grass, and oh, lo and behold, Jan Gomes. Seems to put his fingerprints on the ball game every single day, doesn't he? Yes, I mean, it's a good at-bats right here by the Cubs to put it together a, a nice productive inning. Okay, sixth inning, Jameson Tyone found himself in a little bit of trouble after uh, dealing a no-no through five. Yep, bases loaded. Got himself one out right there, then an 0-1 count to Torkelson. Uh, lifts this one in the air. Ian Happ says, I got you. Keeps the man at third, so uh, no threat right there. But then Kerry Carpenter, we know he has plenty of power. And Carlos, a subdued one, please. What was that called? No, I don't even, you don't even want to say it. I don't okay. want to say it. Okay. I know, I really want to uh, to complete and get out of this inning. Just not the right choice of a pitch right there. And uh, Carpenter was going to just drop the head on him. That's true. So, uh, scoreless ball game. That's how we look at things around here. Uh, four to four. That means that someone's got to score if they want to win. And Jan Gomes, once again, top of the eighth. See the ball, hit the ball. Carlos has 108 stitches on a baseball, and he got almost every one of them. He absolutely crushed this baseball. Again, he went out there with a plan, got ready early, put his foot down and smoked it to left field driving in the run. That's right, Happer would score to make it five to four, and uh, Jan got caught with his hand in the cookie jar, but nevertheless, taking a lead and keeping a lead, uh, that is what's the most important there, Carlos. Exactly, that's good base running at the end of the day. That it is, ninth inning, let's go. How about a little insurance? Nico Horner, top of the ninth, a little sacrifice fly, I don't mind if I do, Jamer. He sees that going to the warning track. It was almost out of there. He would come on home 6-4, the two-run cushion. A little breathing room for Advert, isn't it? Uh, of course, and you take it. Right here, Advert running into a little bit of trouble with that base hit, uh -huh. but he settles down and he says, uh-uh, not with me, I got you. Yeah, the former Chicago Cubs, Zach McKinstry, putting the charge into that one, but Ibanez, yeah, game go. set match for him in that plate appearance, and then Deuce is wild. 2-2 two, two, with two outs, uh, Mr. Rogers. Uh, go hang out with Speedy McFeely. Yeah, Edward Alzali uh, getting after it in this one. 15th consecutive save, as we told you. The Cubs, uh, they a wiggle out of this one in Detroit Rock City, uh, winning the series, taking two of three with that 6-4 to four W. Uh, that is always how you draw it up. And uh, this team, boy, oh boy, I'll let you know they are resilient.